All right, well, welcome to Fight Week. How are you feeling? Feeling great. I'm happy to be here, happy to be in Las Vegas. First fight in America. Um, I'm just taking it all in. I'm watching these guys eat good food all week, but that's killing me. But other than that, I'm all good. There's no good food here in Vegas, don't worry. I'm just kidding. I was just trying to make you feel better. I've been <laughs> here before, so I know, I know, I know the food. I know the food. So first fight in the United States and your main event, that's got to be kind of a special feeling for you, right? Yeah, it's massive. Uh, I've visited Las Vegas in 2016 to watch McGregor and Mendes, and then since then I've always thought this is a place where I'll need to fight. This is the fight capital, and now we're here. So what were the first thoughts when you first heard your opponent and then heard it would be a main event and heard it would be here? Did you hear all of that at the same time or was it kind of, did you learn it in waves? Literally, it was a text. Um, the, the matchmaker wants you to fight Edson Barboza five rounds. Uh, and my thoughts was, wow, this is my opportunity. This is my breakthrough. This is, this is my time to, to shine now. Is there extra pressure going in knowing that it's main event, everyone's eyes are on you, you're fighting a legend? Not re not really the aspect of being main event. I'm not really, that's not really, for, it's who I'm fighting is is more so uh, the big thing. I'm fighting Edson Barboza, legend of the sport, dangerous fighter, and that's what, that's what excites me, yeah. Have you, have you had to kind of separate the fact that he is a legend because you're gonna go in there and fight him. You don't wanna show him too much respect, I, I imagine. Have you had to kind of not think of him in the way that you have thought about him in the past because of that? I feel like that's going to make me fight better because it's, it's going to add that fear factor, which I need. I, I know um, looking at my previous fights, if I don't have that fear factor, I, I don't perform. So I feel like that's going to bring the best out of me. But obviously, I'm not going to be um, showing him too much respect in there. It's a, f a fight, it's a fight. What are some of the weaknesses that you've seen in him? I feel like everybody's got weaknesses. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He's a he's very, very good sound, sound fighter. I feel like if he, if he loses his fights, it's usually to grappling, right, um, to, to wrestlers. But I'm not a wrestler, so it's going to be a striking fight. How has your camp been different for this fight than maybe another one, being that it's five rounds? My camp's been pretty much the same. Um, it's pretty much the same, but we've do probably done more sparring, this, this camp. Uh, other than that... It, it's the same same work work ethic that I normally put in, and everything's everything's gone well. Are you expecting the fight to go the full five rounds? I mean, I know you probably are preparing for that, but is that something you actually think w might happen? Yeah, of course. You can't you can't look past the fact that he's been in there with the best of the best in the world um, over five rounds before. So, uh, obviously, I hope to get him out of there. That's that's obviously the plan, uh, but we'll see how it goes. And the UFC is going to Manchester. Is that something that you would a fight card you'd like to fight on? Is there is it even possible, depending on how this fight goes, that you could turn around and be on that card? Yeah, of course I want to be on that card. It's Man Manchester card. I'm a Mancunian. Um, I say it again, the only Mancunian on the roster ever, born and bred. So it would only be right for me to be on there. But I think it's six weeks away. Mm -hmm. I think it's six weeks away. So obviously I'm in a five round fight. I don't expect to fight on there, but if we can get through this fight unscathed and a win, then I'll definitely be um, asking the, sh the matchmaker to put me on. There's also been some talk about that card because of the timing of when it's going to air here for us. It's not an ideal time for all the fans there. What are your thoughts on that? I think it, it obviously it would be better if it was on English time, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It's a, um, predominantly American viewerships, right, who buy in pay-per-view and have give the UK fans a pay-per-view card, which is going to be like the, an amazing card, right? So I feel like you've just got to take take the good and the bad, the rough with the smooth, and yeah, it's all right. And what are you going to eat when you're done with the fight? So I've been watching these guys, Jordan and Carl, eat everything. So my first my first on the list is a Mexican place. We went, just, just I watched them eat the Mexican. We're going to go there, then we're going to go some, get some pizza. Um, probably like 5,000 calories in the night. Sounds good. Thank you. Lerone, has it been frustrating not being able to be as active as you, as, as you want? It feels like, you know, you, you get a big win, everybody's talking about you, you're the future of this division, and then you're out for a little bit. Everybody forgets about you. You come back to the same thing. It's kind of rinse and repeat. Has that been frustrating? Super frustrating. Super frustrating. It's just like 
yeah, like you said, stop and start, stop and start. I can't get no momentum behind me, but everything happens for a reason. Where anything, like literally anything, and that's the way I see life now because that's why it's been a blessing of things I've gone through in the past because that's how I see life. Everything happens for a reason to put you onto a better path. And I feel like now is the time. And if, even even if I got this fight three years ago, maybe I wouldn't have been ready, but now I feel ready. It feels like injuries have kind of followed you for a little bit. Um, is that just because you tr you spar hard, you train hard, or, or is it just kind of just bad luck? I would say bad luck more so than anything. I feel like everybody trains trains hard at, at this level, and I've just come across a bit of bad luck and maybe not having the right uh, physiotherapy, uh, conditioning, uh, strength and conditioning, coaching and stuff like that. I feel like all that will help, but getting to the PI and being around these guys and just learning little bits from here, hopefully I can take that back and stay healthy. feels like whoever beats Edson Bar Barbosa really takes a big leap in their career. So what does a win over a UFC legend like Edson Barbosa do for you? Exactly that. That puts me, puts me up there, solidifies my name, um, puts me among the elite of the elite, and gives me a shot at that top 10 afterwards. Who's winning this weekend between Tyson Fury and, 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 and Usyk? I'm going to back the Mancunian, Tyson Fury. Do you think he stops him, or do you think it's going to be a close fight? I think it goes a distance. I think it goes a distance. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. He mentioned the, the injuries, and I came, I tried to go back and try to figure out, and I don't know if it was said. Why the, the, you had to pull out of the Ige fight before an injury, but I don't know if I, we knew what that injury was. Did you are, you? are you comfortable telling us what that was, or is that people know what that injury was already? Yeah, it was a shoulder injury. Um, wrestling, I hurt my shoulder wrestling maybe four weeks before the fight, and it was only fit like I couldn't train, like there was no way I could train for the for the fight. So maybe I could have waited till fight week and done that, but it's not it's not fair on the other guys to to not fight. They need to put food on the on the table for the family and stuff like that. So we made the team made the decision that we'll pull out of the fight, and yeah, we're here we're here now today. And like you said, a lot of those things are just bad luck. They're just fluke accidents. It wasn't like it was anything training that you needed to change training-wise. It's just one of those things that happens in training, right? Yeah, it's just, it's just part of the sport. We, 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 we do, like, some vigorous training, the wrestling, the sparring. Like, it's high intensity, do you know what I mean? So the, the, it's, people always get injured. It's just part of the sport, and I've just got to take it like that. But... Um, yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. We need to be active. I'm, I'm trying to get three, four fights in a year. That's my goal. Never done that before with the UFC. Um, so that's, that's my main goal, yeah. And we always hear from fighters, you know, training tends to be the hardest part. You know, the, the fight camp, the, the fight's the actual fun part because you're, you're grinding so much in training. Does that feel the same way for you, that the, the fight's actually the fun part? You, you finally can celebrate all the hard work in a, in a, in a fist fight? Uh, I enjoy the training, yeah. Probably, I, I, I like the fight, but the fight's business, the business end, right? So yeah. the fight's the business end. There's always a lot riding on the fight. So, yeah, I enjoy both, though. That's what I'm here for. That's what I live for. You know, and, you know, it was brought up, you know, you're, you're fighting like a living legend, the guy that if this is going to be his 30th fight in the UFC. Are there things still about him that can, are there still surprises to be found by him? I mean, is there, can he surprise you, or is there just too much tape out there that you've seen everything possible from this guy? I feel like anybody can surpri surprise surprise you on the day. It's MMA. Like you just don't know what you're gonna get. If you watch it, if you're watching a boxer that's fought 30 times, you know what you're gonna get. Like there's gonna be no new tricks. But with MMA, there's so many different aspects to the sport that you just never know. But yeah, like you said, there's 30 fights in the UFC. A lot of tape. I've been watching tape of Edson Barboza from before I done MMA, before I even started training. So. I see a lot of um, the stuff he does, and but it's even now so you see, you see that people still still can't stop it because he's so good at it. Yeah, so um, we've been working on that though, and I'm ready to go. Can't wait. Yeah, and when you look at the UFC rankings now, Ige is like 13th, Barboza is like 12th. So you're actually getting a higher ranked fighter mm. now and a little tougher. Do you think that's enough with a, a decisive win here? Do you just swap? Do you take that 12 spot, or do you think it's a possible enough that it might boost you into the top 10 possibly? I think it goes down to how you win the fight. And if you win the fight by stoppage, then they're going to put you higher up the rankings. 
Yeah, so I feel like this fight's a bigger fight than the Ige fight, not because he's better than Ige, but just because of his name and obviously he's higher, higher ranked. So, yeah, it's a blessing to get this opportunity. And what are your keys to the victory? What needs to happen to make sure you get your arms raised on Saturday? The keys to victory for me would be to be defensively sound and pick my shots correctly. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my man, for taking the time. Yep. You mentioned with Amy, uh, and I love the quote, it's my time to shine. Um, you getting this call from the UFC to, to get this main event, how much more did that boost your confidence and just really solidify the belief that you have in yourself? Like, yeah, I'm that dude. You put me on the poster, I'll show up. Yeah, I've always had that belief that I should be here. Like I said before, it's just, it's just, been, a, um, it's just been like the stop and start that's held me back, really, and the inactivity. But I've always thought I can get here one day to the main event, but it's, it's actually my time to shine and I, I have to put on a performance to, on Saturday night. Like, there's no, there's no two ways about it. For, for one, for my own safety, I have to perform. And two, they've put me main event now, so there's no messing about it. You can't, you can't be in, like, no boring fight, fights. I want, this, I want this opportunity again. Yes, sir. And how high was it on the bucket list to fight in Las Vegas, to be the billboard, the main event, right there with Manchester. Like, how high up was it? Like, okay, wow, this is really happening. I did it. Check that one off the bucket list. I'm, I'm the main event in Las Vegas, fight capital of the world. Yeah, it's definitely on the bucket, high up the back bucket list. Uh, I've always wanted to fight in Las Vegas. I've always wanted it to be main event. So that's two ticks off the bucket list. Um, but I need to go out there and win. That's, that's, that's the main thing, right? Um, winning in Las Vegas, winning in the main event. Um, and then Manchester's right up there as well. Uh, all, I want to fight everywhere. I think, I think this, this sport's about experience, experiences that you, that you bank. So I want to fight all over the world if possible. Yes, sir. How has the transition been with you, not just as a professional athlete and a UFC fighter, part of this MMA community, but now the media stuff, the, the whirlwind of like camera, 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 question, question, question. You got to find that new gear. Has that been anything interesting to, to show that you got to promote yourself too to get more eyes to tune in and not just showcase your abilities, but also be a guy that people could say, you know what, I like him. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm follow him. I'm going to tune in more often. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. I feel like it's, a, it's an area that I definitely need more work in, uh, self-promotion and stuff like that. But uh, I'm here to fight at the end of the day. That's what I love doing. That's, that's the most important thing for me. And I've seen, like, I've seen fighters similar to me that have gone on and do well, like Leon Edwards, he's a similar person to me and he's gone on to do well without all of that stuff. So it's possible, isn't it? Yes, sir. And last for me, just let me kind of like really lock into this. When you mentioned UFC 189 with Mendes and um, Conor McGregor, yeah. is this kind of like a full circle moment that you are here and Conor's fighting next month in Las Vegas? Like you're just like, man, like, I just saw them fight, it, it still, I'm sure, has a special place in your heart, but now you're like right there, on back to back, with some of the biggest stars. How crazy is that? Yeah, it's, it is crazy. Sometimes I have to pinch myself and, and just be grateful, do you know what I mean? Because it's like, some, sometimes I almost think it should be expected, but it's not, like, do you get what I'm saying? And um, I have to pinch myself and be grateful, but, yeah, it, it is nuts. It's crazy, and but, it's, but it don't stop here. I feel like I'm just getting onto the ladder now, and there's there's much way more bigger things that I can do and um, and places I can get to. Excellent. Well, I can't wait to see it, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Done. Thank you. Yeah.